Revelio. Revelio. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Lumos. Revelio. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Lumos. Revelio. Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. Incendio Lumos
Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. I'm not so sure about this. I don't need the headmaster upset with me. Oh, the headmaster won't be upset. Uh, Scrope simply wants to surprise him. Scrope will explain. Uh, Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, uh, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring.
Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Visitor? Oh! Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, t'was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Revelio. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, 
What of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Here's a pleasant surprise. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. <laughs> the candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the forbidden forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me.
What are you up to now? There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Nothing to it. Yeah, lucky shot. All in the wrist. That was one for the ages. Try to beat that. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. <laughs>